Oh, the mintiness, it burns. It's so minty. Today, we've got 100 tubes of toothpaste and we're gonna see what we can do with them. Guys, we have a lot of toothpaste. Callie is currently building with it. Did you know you could build with toothpaste? Because I didn't. I personally don't think it's gonna do super well, but hey, that's a reflection on the toothpaste, of not on Callie's building ability. <laughs> we wanted to try stuff with toothpaste and we didn't want to go halfway with it. So we here have 100 tubes of varying types and sizes of toothpaste. Because that's just what we do, guys. Uh, believe it or this. not, this video is not sponsored by Colgate. We do have at least one other brand. It just happens to be the cheapest kind to get in bulk. So we've got a lot of toothpaste here. We wanna try some stuff with it. I'm leaving. Minty. Have fun, you can do this one on your own. Fun fact, guys, all toothpaste has sodium lauryl sulfate or sometimes laureth sulfate. I think that might only be in other types of detergent. It's basically something that makes stuff foam in dish soap, in shampoo, in toothpaste. Really good at helping it spread around evenly so it's everywhere in your mouth as you're using it. And it just foams up. Okay, so that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the fact that this one has charcoal in it. Have, Black yeah, toothpaste. There's two of them. We got two oh, tubes. No, of so this one's just gray. Okay, so the ones that I've seen, the charcoal challenge. Uh, online, I've seen it on YouTube, is where people brush for five minutes with like this charcoal base. This just has it in it. It's in the ingredients, charcoal powder. Yeah, let's look at all the different types that we've got here. So Pressed I, was, just, with I was curious if the charcoal kind had titanium dioxide in it. It does not. Titanium dioxide is just a very, very white powder. Most of the titanium mined in the world ends up turning into white paint because titanium dioxide is so bright white. Some kinds of toothpaste have it, some kinds do not, and then Glad they didn't try and put it in with the charcoal because that would just seem counterintuitive. Okay, you're just writing things out. <laughs> that one's the crest. These little ones are also cavity protection. These two should be the same. Let's just make sure they are. We also have one with baking soda. Okay, definitely lumpier. Not the adjective I ever want to use for my toothpaste, lumpy. Those two are basically the same. Cool. So to me, what's interesting is that the whitening stuff mm -hmm. has titanium dioxide, which I was saying is a whitening agent. And this, this other one does not. It does not have titanium dioxide. The whiteness difference is minimal at best, so I'm not entirely sure why they feel the need to throw it into some of them. It's a whitening agent for the it's toothpaste, very not for white. your teeth. Yes. Yeah, it so makes the toothpaste make whiter. It doesn't make your teeth whiter. It just makes, yes, anything that you mix that with, very, very white. We've actually used it here. I used it on the edible diamond play button when I was trying to get a white base instead of a black base for a silver. It's not stuff, yes, you can technically put in your mouth, and yes, you can eat it in small quantities, but it's not gonna make your teeth whiter just because it itself is whiter. One of these has an ingredient that comes from seaweed. I believe it was this one. Yep, carrageenan. Carrageenan, carrageenan. classic. I think it's like, just one of those things that makes it like a gel-like yes. base. A you can use color. glycerin for that. You can use apparently seaweed base for that. Yeah, this stuff, this stuff is glycerin based. Mm -hmm. And then this stuff was a uh, dicalcium phosphate dihydrate based. There you go. Lots of options. But I mean, it depends. Do you want a gel? Do you want a paste? It's gonna make it a little bit different. I wanna empty all of these tubes into a bowl and see much, how much toothpaste we have. Don't worry, to speed up this process, I have these nice toothpaste tube squeezer things. We have a cat. Nope, I like cat. We have a panda cat. and a frog. I'll do the frog, I like all right. that. Okay, here's my prediction of what's gonna happen. The studio is gonna smell very minty. All right guys, while we're doing this, you guys go down and have a debate in the comments about whether you squeeze toothpaste from the middle of the tube or from the bottom. And some of you are wrong. I have no idea what you're talking about. This is exactly how you're supposed to do it. The two different kinds going, it's interesting yeah. to see the different textures of toothpaste. So I didn't realize exactly what we were getting when I bought these. They're the cheapest ones. There are some that have like a crimping roller mm -hmm. that I think would get even more toothpaste out. There we go, there. I just, here's the thing. I've done this with enough piping bags and frosting in my day to know that I don't want to do this for the next four hours. This might not be entirely efficient, but I feel pretty good about the quantity I got out given the amount of time it took. You're definitely right about how best to do this. Thank you. So yeah, yeah. do you, do you wet your toothbrush before add toothpaste? Add toothpaste, then wet your brush? Water, toothpaste, water? Or I'm a crazy person and I just put toothpaste on and start brushing my teeth because it feels more like the dentist cleaning that way and I'm just like, I don't know, it just feels good. Mm -hmm. 
Oh wow, so much toothpaste. <laughs> I regret this for you. Mm. Slow soup. I can't, I can't talk really. Oh, nope, it didn't overflow immediately, so he's gonna have to do one of the bigger tubes now. <laughs> this wasn't a plan in the video today, guys. On all of the little bullet points we had of ideas, this wasn't one of them. <laughs> How big is your mouth? <laughs> mm -hmm. Really feels you know, cleaner than usual. As a not dentist, I highly recommend using one tube of toothpaste per toothbrushing. So when I did a taste test with this kind, it was like a much stronger mint. Oh, no. <laughs> so I don't know how well this is gonna go over, but. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. Uh -uh. <laughs> Ow. Ow. That's that is way too strong of mint flavor. It hurt my tongue. I didn't get any farther than that, and I've just got toothpaste running down my shirt. Okay, next we're gonna do the cinnamon challenge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can smell it from here. It's almost as strong as when we did the, the menthol cough drop. Uh-huh. Cotton candy, oh. My nose is running just from the smell, guys. Whole tube of the charcoal toothpaste at once. It honestly felt like it was burning my tongue. <laughs> it was so minty and you can see my eyes are watering from it. I'm just gonna go rinse my mouth out for a while. <laughs> Whew. I'll be here. No, oh! <laughs> Listen guys. Can you taste the mint with your hand yet? <laughs> My hand is very cold. <laughs> this is awesome. It's like as happy as kinetic sand. Oh, I lied. I am the happiest kid in kindergarten right now. Did you ever want to play with the paste you weren't allowed to eat? <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my hands now. As we were getting ready to do all of this, the fact that you can't recycle these, which is really kind of sad, the plastic on the outside is lined with metal on the inside. This double coating doesn't allow it to be separated out in the recycling process, so that's kind of a shame. And this is how most toothpastes are. Uh, I would love to see a new design for these, because unfortunately, there's just really not much you can do with this. I want to see what happens if we try to boil toothpaste. Okay. This is the only time I've seen enough toothpaste in one place to maybe try it. So I'm just going to scoop a lot of this into this pot, and then we're just going to throw it on a hot plate. There's one tube of charcoal toothpaste just, in this bowl. Just, it was hidden in here. Hidden? It was hidden. I can English. Mint scented vapors in the air. It's true, but I think it's time for a smoothie. Yep, I'm adding water. That is disgusting. It's already fluffy. Hi, Power. Oh! We need more. Cool. Listen, I've regretted most of today's choices. So I think we actually just reached boiling point of this and you can see that it's much bigger and fuller and fluffier than when we started. Some of it actually managed to boil over, landed on the stove and caught on fire. I'm trying to think of something that this smells like. I've never smelled anything quite like it. Burning mint. It doesn't smell. Yes. Look at this, it's still just rising. Yep. It's just alive forever now. There's no longer even heat being added to it. This is what it does. Well, I wasn't expecting this, were you? No, I thought it was gonna reduce down and become like a hard chalky stuff. Oh sure, yeah. We still have a lot of toothpaste. We do have a lot of toothpaste. There's only one thing to do with this much toothpaste. Agreed. Okay, well. 
giant toothbrush. Goodbye. All right, guys, that's it for today. Other video right there. I'll see you next one. I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs>